All right, so everyone does all these emotional live feeds while they're crying or during it. I'm doing one after because I don't know. I just feel like the world needs to know that it's not all the evil out there. Um, I'm watching a lot of serial killer documentaries and stuff. I love that stuff. It's just so interesting to learn how they think. And then I ran out of Netflix stuff to watch, so I started watching I'm a Killer. Some of the episodes were really good. Some of them were really bad. Some of them got me feeling really strong. And this last episode just completely broke me. Um, Richard Seymour or something like that, I think it was. I don't know. It's the guy that killed two homosexuals. Um, he said he did it because he was sexually abused when he was 12 and he brought his friend into it, but he paid money or he got paid money to endure the abuse. And I get he was 12 and that's not right, but there are people that have been through so much worse that didn't do even half of what he'd done that have never hurt a fly that the entire time they would be thinking of a way to get out of it, not contemplating how to murder and um i'm just completely floored and blown aback that he has that much support it's so easy nowadays to push people away yeah i'm kind of tired whatever um but then there's other people no one even cares what they've been through. You know, like, no one cares how bad your childhood is. No one cares. Everyone says, suck it up. Be a fucking adult. Sorry if I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. Be an adult. You just deal with it. Your childhood doesn't matter. But yet, they get to do these actions. And it's okay. Because their childhood... Yeah, they were 12. You chose that for money. Imagine the people that didn't choose it, that were younger. Yeah, you weren't 12. You were 12. You weren't technically still choosing it. But you were happy with that. You got some sort of reward. Imagine being that age and or younger. And ongoing. And no one cares. No one likes you. You're just some terrible rejects in society that's formed, you know, dissociative or an eating disorder or OCD or anxiety or some other mental disorder or multiple even because they're coexisting. And that's, you know, that's fine. That's your fault. But if you're a serial killer or a murderer, it's not your fault. It's your childhood. Yet all these other people with mental health issues that have had it so much worse are treated horribly. And it's really not fair. Um, I kind of just want to challenge Netflix, YouTube, whatever, general public to maybe look at those that aren't murderers and see you know, how it turns out. Because there's supposedly this, you know, fine line between homicidal and suicidal, which I think is a total fucking crock of shit. There are some people that would only hurt themselves. You're telling me somebody that cuts themselves is automatically going to hurt somebody else? Some of them, maybe. Not all of them. It's not... It's not fair that they get a free pass into life. And then you just go to Texas and do something. Like, you really want a free pass on life? Go to Texas. Kill somebody. You get death row. TV's already shown you that death row is better than the general population. It's better than solitary confinement. It's pretty much the best deal you can get. So if you have a fucked up life, a fucked up childhood, you see no future, 
and no way out, all you have to do is move to Texas and become a, a murderer. So basically you're a psychopath or sociopath, most likely, if not both. And you couldn't manipulate the world, so that's your only way out. And you just blame it on the drugs or the alcohol or whatever you wanted to use to get high to justify your actions so that you can become famous. Congratulations, society. You are exactly what's wrong with this world.